welcome to Tech Tips Thursday. This time your tip comes from the panda. Uh, and the panda is going to talk about Pinterest today. Um, how to pin and most importantly how to set links. So let's get started right away. Uh, Pinterest has become the third largest social network uh, in the past couple of months and there's a reason for it. It's very visual and it's very easy to handle. Uh, and uh, let's just say you want to upload a picture onto your board or onto one of your boards. What I did is I clicked on, excuse me, I didn't say that, add and there's a little plus next to it and you're in your profile of course and there's upload a pin. Okay, so I want to upload a pin and I've got a really neat picture of the Grand Canyon here that I really like. Okay, so it's going to come up here. Uh, I'm going to put it in the cool and amazing stuff and I'm going to say something like the view from my house. A little smarty back to it. Okay, and I want to post it to Facebook and Twitter and I'm going to pin it. Okay, and it comes up in cool and amazing stuff. That's the board, and there is the picture. Now, when I click on that picture, the link that comes with it is the picture because I did not define a link. Uh, there's a little edit button above the picture, and you have to be in the um, in the board. You click on edit, and there you see a link. So, in this case, you know, I would like to them to go to our Facebook page. That's fine. Um, we don't have anything on our website that kind of mirrors it on our blog. So, I just want to have them go on our Facebook page. Now if I save the pin, if I click on the picture now, it goes to our Facebook page. So you see the power for businesses or blog owners. You can take all your pictures and link them to the particular page that you want them to go. So if it's a blog post, you can have them click on it and go to the blog post. And you would be amazed how many people click on those links. So that was an upload from your desktop or from somewhere on your computer. Now let's try uh, how it looks like when you upload it from a, another website. Uh, it's a website of one of our customers here. Uh, this beautiful picture of the 190SL and I've got a little plugin in Chrome where I just can hit the P and then it goes directly to Pinterest. Uh, if you look at our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash Tangram media channel, you will find the video that tells you how to install this plugin. So if I click on P now, I want to write this later. I'm going to pin this picture to sports. And on sports, I would see it automatically took the description of the picture from the website. Um, I want something else. So I want to say beautiful 190SL taken from one of our customers' websites. Enjoy. Now in this case, what I want to do is I really want to link that um, image to the website of our customer because I think it makes the most sense and I will show you how to do that. So I got the description uh, and then I'm going to pin it. And I also have done it to Twitter. And then it says success and I can see my pin in the board and here it is. So again, we learned before when I go to edit, I look at the link. This is the link to the website of our customer. And I want to keep it that way because, you know, I just want to say, hey, this is our beautiful work and this is what we have done. So that's great. Um, so I can save the pin. And now when you see before I clicked on that picture and it went to the link and when I click on it, it goes directly to the website of the customer. This is enormously powerful. I cannot overstate this because people like to click on images these days. And that's what they do. So this is how you link your images to certain web pages. Be sure to look through all your stuff and see where the images link to. Because if you've just taken it just like I did just now and didn't relink it, it's going to link to the web page where it came from. So that's today's tech tip. See you next week. Thank you. Mm -hmm.